make it rain! <laughs> Playbill! Well, the year is drawing to a close, and we thought we'd hip you to what we thought were the real winners and the real stinkers. On Broadway! Of 2011. So for 2011, we had the top five musicals, the top five plays, and the bottom five worst shows of Broadway for the entire year. <laughs> So let's start with the top five musicals coming at number five. You know what? Catch me if you can. Right? Improbable uh, adaptation, which is only made better by the fact that it shouldn't be made. And yet it works. Norwood Butts, amazing. Catch me if you can, number five. Caught it. Sister Act, what can we say about this confection of a musical? You might need those adult diapers that will be uh, hawking because you will be peeing in the aisles. Congratulations to Douglas Carter Bean for the rewrite of Sister Act. It was a lot of fun. More sequins than I've ever seen on any Pope. <laughs> Number three. Bonnie and Clyde. This it, is criminal it's, that the show didn't do better than it did. I can't believe it's already being executed. It is the goriest, most relevant piece of schmaltz that you can see uh, on Broadway right now. Number two, best musical. Sun Foster, Anything Goes, Absolute Classic Magic Theater. Completely authentic revival, down to the racist Bucktooth Chinaman. At the end of the first act, the tap number had us both mesmerized, obsessed with Sutton Foster. Busby Berkeley all the way. And coming in, number one, best musical of the year, we all know what it was, it inspired us for Halloween costumes. Inspired us to actually dress up for Halloween, which we yeah. never do, because, you know, so there's that. Yeah. So of uh, course, we all know what it was. Okay. Lucky Guy gets an honorable mention. Wait. Lucky Guy was fantastic. It was a perfect mix of red state earnestness and blue state sarcasm. Downtown smarts and uptown uh, glitz and glam. And I, I just, the smallest star of stage and screen deserved a bigger stage. Yeah. Now it's time for the top five plays of the year. Number five. Number five is the <laughs> with the hat. I, I mean, love saying that title. <laughs> Hats off to these they created the most convincing world of cruelty and redemption that we saw this year. Great performances all around, even in spite of Chris Rock. Number four is Venus in Fur. For our money, any show starring Nina Arianda uh, is, is a hit, and, and seeing so much of her wearing so little is an added bonus. Just don't go with your parents. Number three top show, which got a lot of... Um, a lot of flack. A lot of flack. Mountaintop. You know what? Give me the schmaltz. The very end of yeah. Alone I was crying. I was moved. It was amazing. It's Disney. It's schmaltzy. But it's good schmaltzy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not actually Disney, though. No, it's, it's not Disney. It's just Disney like. Mountaintop with Angela Bassett. And Samuel J. Lewis yes, Jackson. Yeah, you know. Bengal Tiger at the Baghdad Zoo. This place was robbed at the Tonys. Finally, uh, something on Broadway a about, meaty a, show. about the Middle East and about what the <laughs> is going on. Crazy genius metaphysical stuff. Once again, Bengal Tiger number two. And the number one best play of the year, in our opinion, you has are, to I mean, be D Jerusalem. Jerusalem. It literally has it all. The first act is comedy, the second act is tragedy, and the third uh, act is just magic. You should re-watch our review because I couldn't hold it together. I oh, was yeah, so moved. Can, Crying. I was so moved. We could not put the movie together because you, every time we like went to shoot some video, you would burst into tears. For Broadway this season, for plays, we had so many great new exciting plays on Broadway. It was a great year for, for theater. Counting down the top five worst shows. These are the worst productions that we saw on Starting Broadway. with the least worst, ending with the most worst. Number five, Relatively Speaking. Eey. Got off to a slow start. And it only got slower. Marlo Thomas was not, um, yeah, I was embarrassed it for them. It was cringeworthy. Yeah. yeah. The Woody Allen sort of redeemed it. No, but no, too little too late. On a clear day, you can see forever. On a queer day, you can see forever. On it was a queer offensive. day, you can tell that this shouldn't be on Broadway. Very offensive in our mind. Harry Starry, Harry Potter Jr. There should have been a drag queen. If you're going to have a man on Broadway playing a woman. Justin Bond, hello, where were you? Um, I'm Joey Arias. Joey Arias. Uh, number three, worst show of the year. War Horse. War Horse. What's worse? Then a Hollywood movie being turned into a Broadway show. What? A Broadway show that turns that gets turned into a schmaltzy Hollywood movie. It won Best Play, and it oh. was basically all about the puppets. You like that sort of circus the act. Sure, the production values are good, but uh, it wasn't writing, good theater. Writing is not saying good boy, good boy, <laughs> good boy, <laughs> good boy. Uh, Second worst play, Wonderland. And now these the two the two worst productions of the season. It, it was a toss up because Wonderland was just brutally. Hard to watch. It Granted, was, he also did Bonnie and Clyde, which we love. Which is like one of the best. So it's sort of a, it's a balance. Evens out. Evens I mean, out. we'll yeah. give you Bonnie and Clyde, but you can keep your Wonderland. I the Zamboni of, that came on stage. Oh yeah, the Zamboni. Oh. I just wonder how that landed on Broadway. And the absolute worst production of the entire year. In our opinion, Godspell. Ah, uh, not just 
terrible, like an agonizing to watch, but it had it had a terrible agenda. Just rapping, rapping, rapping for Jesus, Jesus. Jesus don't rap. Jesus as an Aryan, could you kind of mix it up a bit, maybe? Yeah, like white Jesus, black Judas. I mean, there's so on so many levels, it's so disturbing. This is a revival of a show. Who, which is responsible for one of the worst musical genres in the history of humankind. Up with people! Christian rock. Yeah. Yeah. This is Andrew Andrew, and we invite you to watch all the reviews on our website, andrewandrew.com. Everything's there from Broadway to off-Broadway. Watch the reviews, and tell us what you think of our picks and misses. Picks and misses? Hits and misses. Hits and misses. Hits and misses. Yeah, sure. That's what they say. Did they say that? Oh, God. Can't wait till next season. Happy New Year.